We're creating one of these beautiful kitchen knives from the Ron Hawk 8 inch kitchen knife kit. We've already created the handle, glued it together, and shaped it in our first set of videos. In this final video, it's time to finish up. The knife handle has now been shaped and polished and I'm ready to put on a finish. Now when you're talking about finishing this knife handle, honestly, pretty much anything is going to be great. It's going to make the wood look awesome uh, and it's going to get worn no matter what you put on there. You're going to be using this all the time uh, and washing it and washing it back off. So whatever you put on there is going to get a patina to it. So we want to build up a nice, a nice finish to it and all these types of finishes are just going to work great. So I'd recommend kind of whatever you have in the shop, whatever is your go-to, go ahead and use that. Uh, my go-to finish is an oil varnish mix that I mix up in my shop. I really enjoy that uh, for a lot of things that I make. It looks great, goes on easy, and it's easy to build up a nice finish and easy to maintain. So I'm going to start with, I've already got some extra kicking around. Uh, this is boiled linseed oil and some turpentine. I'm going to start with just the oil uh, for my first coat. And then as I put on successive coats, I'll start adding some of the varnish uh, to build up a film on top. I'll probably end up four or five coats, probably a day, half a day in between each of the coats to really build up a nice finish on the handle. Now putting on uh, oil finish could not be simpler. This is again uh, about 70% boiled linseed oil, 30% thinner. You can go 50-50 or you know whatever, just trying to get the oil to really soak into the wood. I'm just going to use a corner of this pretty dirty rag actually and just flood all the surfaces of the handle. It's been about 15 or 20 minutes and you can just make out there's some dull spots and some shiny spots. Uh, the shiny is where there's still oil sitting on top. The dull spots are where the oil has soaked into the wood. I'm going to put on a little bit more oil uh, because I really want this first coat to soak in a lot as much as possible. So I'm going to wipe on another liberal coat, getting it just everywhere, a nice thick layer everywhere on here. Not worrying about how thick it is because I'm going to come back and I will wipe all this off pretty soon. Definitely on the end grain, it'll really soak in there for sure. It's been about 15 more minutes, so I'll rub off all the excess oil from the handle. I'll recheck this handle every hour or so and continue to rub off any oil that has come back to the surface. Now by tomorrow, this will have dried and it'll be ready for the next coat that will have some varnish in it. The first coat of straight oil and thinner is dry. Uh, give it a quick rub with some steel wool just to make sure the handle is super smooth and ready for the next coat. Now after using steel wool, make sure to wipe off the handle because the steel wool breaks up as you use it and can leave uh, little small bits behind. I'm mixing up a typical oil varnish mix, which is one third oil, one third varnish, and a third thinner, uh, which is turpentine here. It doesn't have to be exact, of course. I'm using an Epiphane spar varnish, which I really like. Uh, I've got some previously used stuff here, so I'll use that instead of opening up a new can. Just like last time, I'm gonna just wipe this on with a rag. So I'm just getting on a nice thin coat. Uh, but this time, I'm gonna get on a nice thin coat all the way around and not wipe it off. I'm gonna let it dry uh, completely. I've got the varnish on there now, so we'll start building up a film finish on top of the wood. So just wipe it on and wipe it all, wipe it on and kind of wipe it off, um, but just dipped in my rag once and we'll just wipe it all the way around. After letting that dry for a day or more, I'll rub it out with steel wool again, clean it off and apply the next coat in the same manner. Different woods will take up finish uh, pretty differently. So for instance, the she oak handle here in the front is still pretty sticky. The finish has not dried yet. Whereas the Paduke handle is very smooth and has dried. So not only can temperature and humidity make a difference to the drying process, but so can the wood type you're using. So just 
take it in stride and take a look at how the finish is curing before moving on to the next step. I'm now ready to apply my fourth coat of finish on these handles. Now that this coat has dried, we're starting to get some shiny spots where the film finish is starting to build up. So I want to apply a few more coats so I can get that shine all the way across and I'll knock it back each time with some steel wool, but building up that film finish, which will help protect the handle. On this knife handle, you can more easily see where we're getting some bubbles, that film finish building up and it's getting few bubbles right across the top where there's either some dust settling or the finish was a little thicker that'll easily come off when I knock it back with some steel wool providing a nice smooth finish. Make sure to rub out each coat until it's a consistently smooth matte finish before applying the next coat on top. I've now finished up putting five or six coats onto this knife handle in the exact same manner that you've seen, wiping it on, letting it dry, and smoothing it out. I followed that up with just a little bit of wax on top. And this handle now feels great, looks great, and I'm ready to put this knife to use in my kitchen. This project was super fun to make and super easy, and you end up with an awesome kitchen knife for use in your own kitchen or also makes a great gift. So for this knife kit or other kits, check out highlandwoodworking.com. Thanks for watching. <music>